Yeah, I think the, uh, the president was reflecting the angst of the nation about what happened at, uh, at Galway. I don't think he was prescriptive, uh, other than saying that uh, the bereaved family ought to be at the center of uh, government consideration of the issue, and that certainly has been the case from the beginning. Well, my own take of it uh, is that Labour Party policy uh, ought to apply. Uh, and Labour Party policy for some very considerable time is that uh, Parliament must legislate uh, for uh, the X case. And, um, you know, I think that, that remains our policy and everybody in the party has, has, uh, has, has, you know, supported that position. I don't mean to imply by that that there aren't people in the party, uh, you know, who, who take a, a different view. But... Um, that's been the overwhelming position of the Labour Party for some very considerable time. I see it as uh, addressing a real issue that is a cause of concern for a very long time in Irish society and in particular is a cause of concern for Irish women. Uh, we're talking about the health of Irish women here and uh, you know there is an obligation on Parliament that if there isn't legal certainty that it is the task of Parliament insofar as it can to provide legal certainty both to medical practitioners uh, and to uh, the Irish people. Well I don't think it's fair from the uh, discussions I've had with uh, James Riley. I don't think it's fair at all to say that he hasn't listened to uh, the husband of the bereaved. Uh, I know that he's, he's very much uh, concerned about what has happened at Galway. We don't yet know the detail. And that's why we urgently uh, need uh, to expedite the investigation uh, so that the Minister is aware of the full implications of what happened and that the women of Ireland, and especially the women in the Galway catchment area, can be reassured uh, about procedures obtaining at Galway Hospital.